Hey y'all. So today's class is going to be geared around the heart, about compassion, about love, and most importantly about the love that you have for yourself. So within this easy seated spot, go ahead and close the eyes or bring your gaze down towards the floor. And just give yourself a moment to land in this space. Making any little wiggles that you need to just get out from the day. And coming towards a place of stillness. Feeling the earth beneath you and rolling the shoulders up towards the bottom of your ears and bringing the shoulder blades back behind you as you open that heart, allowing the heart to shine forward. Noticing how the chest rises, the belly pulls in, and the chin even starts to rise a little bit more. Tuning into your body how things feel today. Deepening your breath. This three part Durga breath that fills the belly, fills the rib cage and comes all the way up to the collarbone. On your exhale, sigh it out. Let it go. Inhale, nice big breath in. Exhale, sigh it out. One more, nice breath in. Exhale, release. And then find a slow, steady breath. steady big breaths maybe not as dramatic as we did before but a compromise in between your natural breath and that really really deep breath Taking a moment to reflect on how you have offered loving kindness to yourself today. Did you give yourself a pep talk this morning? Did you give yourself a few honored moments of whatever your non-negotiables are? A few minutes of quiet moment of stillness, tea or coffee, whatever it is. Were you able to care for yourself a little bit today? If the answer is no, is there guilt associated with that? Can you allow yourself just a pass to know that you're human, that you are kind, and to be kind to your human? Offer yourself a little bit of compassion, a little bit of grace. Keeping these slow, steady breaths, start to find some hip circles. Pick a direction, start to rotate through the hips. You can open the eyes if you'd like. 
try to keep the shoulders rolled back, the heart open as we move through this shape. Notice any places that catch. As you come around to the back, pause and switch direction. Take it the other way. And then make your way to the center, teetering up. And just lift the arms up overhead. On your exhale, take your left hand to the floor. Inhale, reach up through the right hand. Exhale, take it over to the left side. On your inhale, lift both arms up towards the sky. Exhale to the right. Inhale, up to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, up to center. Exhale, bring the hands into the center of the chest, into the heart. On your inhale, lift the arms. On the exhale, bring some joy, bring some gratitude, bring some happiness down into the heart. And then from here, we'll reach our arms straight out in front of us. Palms are up. Offering something to the world and receiving something from the world. Nice breath in. On your exhale, go ahead and cross the arms. Give yourself that big hug. Maybe you close the eyes or bring the gaze towards the floor here. And with every breath, notice that place between the shoulder blades. Trying to bring some awareness and some expansion into that place behind the heart. And from here, start to bring the back of the hands to touch. So the elbows are still crossed, and we're bringing the back of the hands to touch in what we call eagle arms. So that may be that the, the back of the hands touch. It may be that you can cross a little bit more and bring the palms to touch somewhat. Feeling that expansion behind the heart. Maybe lift the elbows up just a little bit to bring the arms parallel to the floor. Breathe. One more nice big breath in. Exhale it out and open your wings. Open it up. Arms reach to either side. Maybe squeeze the shoulder blades back behind you a little bit. Inhale, arms lift up. Exhale, hands come into the heart. Bring in what you need. And then extend the arms straight out in front. Palms are up. Receiving and giving. And then whatever arm was on top last time, we're going the opposite. So cross the arms. Give yourself that big hug. Opening that place between the shores. Giving yourself some loving kindness, some support all through this hug. Bring the back of the hands to touch. Maybe the palms to touch. Maybe lift the elbows to bring the back of the arms parallel to the floor. Maybe even look up towards the sky. On your inhale, open the wings, open those arms, lift the heart up towards the sky, look up towards the sky. 
Breathe it all in. Sigh it all out. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, hands find the heart. Cool. So from here, let's just flip our way over and find our hands and knees. Moving towards our tabletop. So our hands are underneath our shoulders, knees are underneath our hips. Hug the belly button in and act as they're going to push the floor away. And then round the back, let the head go down, the tailbone go down as you find your cat. Inhale, head comes up, tailbone comes up, find your cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. So continue following your own breath, exhaling for your cats, inhaling for your cow. Follow your own breath. Maybe you even close the eyes and make this your own, letting your breath be your guide. Maybe you want to get a little funky with it. I always like to offer that you can go like left to right. You can get a little arch in the back or in the side body. But just to really take what it is that you need in order to feel the expansion through the belly, through the spine, through the heart. And to just get the wiggles out. And then find your place of stillness. Curl your toes under. Press your hips up and back. Find your downward facing dog. Press one heel to the floor, then the other. And here, softening the heart towards the center of your mat. Look up towards the hands and walk the feet to find those hands coming into your forward fold, Uttanasana. Pointing that tailbone up towards the sky. And then slowly begin to walk the hands up the legs. Bend your knees a little if you need to. And come on up, mountain pose, Tadasana. So for our mountain pose, it's important that we root the feet down into the floor, about hip width apart. Lift the kneecaps, point the tailbone towards the floor. Notice the belly rise, the heart rises, the shoulders roll back, and the crown of the head lifts up towards the sky. And then we can plug our fingertips down into the ground, giving and receiving. And from here on your inhale, lift your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, swan dive down. Find your forward fold, Uttanasana. On your inhale, rise up halfway, flat back. Taking support wherever you need. Exhale, fold. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bring the fingertips to the floor, your right foot steps back. And we'll bring that right knee to the ground and point those right toes. Keep lunging towards that front short edge of your mat. Feel the length in the front of that right hip flexor. And then on your inhale, start to unfold, to walk your hands up. Find that front knee. And then back off just a hair and point the tailbone towards the floor. Notice the deeper stretch, front of the right thigh. Then dip in. From here, maybe we lift the arms up. Maybe take this half box. So we're really squeezing the shoulder blades together opening the heart and shining that heart up towards the sky. Breathe. Exhale, 
exhale, bring the hands down to the floor, curl the back toes under, lift that knee, and step back to downward facing dog. So hips are up and back, heart melts towards the center of your mat. And then stepping your right foot up between the hands, dropping that left knee and pointing those toes. Maybe the hands come to find that right knee. And then wherever you are, back it off. Just point the tailbone down and then start to dip in. Finding the length, front of the left thigh, left quad. Lift the arms up overhead. Take that half box. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Open that heart. Exhale. Hands come down to the floor. Curl the back toes under. Knee lifts. And let the left foot come up and find the right. Forward fold. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. Reach the arms out around, reach them up towards the sky and bring some compassion and gratitude down into your heart. Let it land here. On your inhale, arms lift up. Exhale, swan dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And step your left foot back. Plug these feet into the floor. Plug that left hand into the floor. Take this right hand and find your right thigh. And then see if you can take right hand to your heart and start to point that right elbow up towards the sky. So we open the heart in this way. Check in with your feet, press that left heel back, lunge into the right leg, and then maybe you lift the right arm away from the heart up towards the sky. Maybe you look up towards that right hand. Nice big breath. Maybe you reach the crown of the head towards the front edge of your mat. On your exhale, bring the right hand back down to the floor. Step back to downward facing dog. And then that left foot steps up between the hands. Plant the right hand into the ground. Bring the left hand to the left thigh. Set your foundation. Right heel presses back, left leg lunges forward. Left hand finds the heart as we point that left elbow towards the sky. Then lift it up and open. Bring that right shoulder blade away from the ear. Actively reach through those left fingertips. Keep lunging forward and pressing the right heel back. Exhale, left hand comes down and step your right foot up to meet the left. Forward fold. On your inhale, reverse your swan dive, lifting up. So bring the hands down to the heart. Close the eyes. Release the arms. Open the eyes. Step your right foot back. So here we're going to turn these hips so that they face that long edge of our mat. Place your hands on your hips. And then 
lift the arms up halfway and just make sure that if you were to drop a plumb line that it would hit the ankles. Notice where you need to extend a little bit more. And then from here, we'll move towards triangle. So reaching this left hand towards the front edge of your mat, reach, 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 reach until you can't reach any more. And then pivot, hand lands, arm lifts. Nice breaths. Again, reaching through the crown of the head towards the front short edge of your mat, lifting the right arm up towards the sky, active, while we root down towards the floor, Maybe the hand is on the shin. Yeah, that's cool too. Maybe it's on the thigh, whatever you got. Exhale, bring this right hand down. Bend that front left knee. Readjust so that the hips point towards the front short edge. And then open from the hip, rising up strong, warrior one. Bring the arms to that half box. Maybe take the arms behind you, clasp the hands, roll the shoulders back. Release that bind, bring hands back to hips and start to tilt forward from the pelvis, about halfway. And then straighten that left leg. Maybe we dip in a little bit deeper. What's important is keeping the length in the spine. Nice big breaths. And then maybe we land. Fingertips find the floor. We bow in towards that left knee. And then we'll bend this left knee, lift that back heel, and step our right foot up to meet the left. Forward fold. On your inhale, sweep the arms out and around, reach them up. Exhale, hands find heart. Second side, we'll step our left foot back. Nice big step back with your left foot. Open these hips towards that long edge of your mat and lift these arms. See if you drop that plumb line where it would land. And then we'll reach our right fingertips forward. Reach, 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 reach. When you can't reach anymore, pivot. Landing here. Maybe you look up towards the sky, up towards that left hand. But keep the heart, keep the hips open and breathe. We'll bring this left hand down towards the floor. We'll bend that front knee, readjust so that this left hip can come around towards the front short edge, and then we'll rise up. Strong warrior one. And then choose where you want to go, half box, or take the bind, whatever you need to do to keep the hips forward, the heart open. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Press the back of the hands down towards that back heel. Maybe look up towards this guy. Keep lunging front leg. On your exhale, release, bring hands to hips and start to straighten the front leg and find the length in the spine again. Notice the difference one side to the other. On your exhale, round the back, bowing in, fingertips may find the floor, nose may find your knee, but nothing special happens if it does find your knee. And we'll bend that front leg, lift that back heel, and step the left foot up to find the right one. Forward fold. On your inhale, sweep the arms out around, reach them up. Exhale, hands to heart. Take a 
take a moment to collect your breath and move towards the center of your mat. Facing the front short edge of your mat. Shift your weight into your left foot. Bend your right knee and find that right foot with your right hand. The first part here is simply to feel the length from right hip down to right knee. It's a quad stretch. Maybe this right hand finds the inside arch of the right foot, which rolls the shoulder back. From here, keeping an eye in one spot on the floor, maybe you start to tilt forward, press the foot into the hand as you move into your King Dancer. Nice breaths, nice back bend, shoulder opener, hip opener. Start to release, coming back. Both feet land on the ground. Walk it out and shift to the other side. So when you're ready, shift your weight to your right foot. Bend your left knee and find that left foot and left hand. Maybe this is where you stay. What's important is the benefit of this shape, not the shape itself. Maybe hand comes to the inside arch of the foot. Maybe start to press the foot into the hand. Find your focal point. Move into your shape. Move in and out. Go at your own pace. When you're over it, Bring both feet back to the floor and shake it all out. And then from here, in no particularly special way, we're just going to have a seat. So coming down to the ground and taking your legs straight out in front of you. You can grab a thigh and turn it in. Grab the other thigh, turn it in. Sit up nice and tall. So bring the fingertips behind you and sit up nice and tall. Roll the shoulders back. And then we'll lift the arms up overhead. And on your exhale, start to tilt from the pelvis, keeping the heart shining forward. So heart is forward, heart is forward, heart is forward. Take a breath in. On your exhale, now round the back and land. Nose towards the knees, but think more heart towards the knees. Maybe the fingertips find the toes. Maybe the hands are on the shins. Maybe the hands are on the thighs. But regardless, think about pointing the sits bones, the tailbone back behind you, so that the heart continues to lean forward. And then notice where you feel sensation. And can you sit with sensation? you settle into this shape, can we make note of the times in which we have felt harm, the times in which we have felt pain, and the times in which we have felt love and compassion 
courage, and joy. And can we allow ourselves to let go of one in order to catch the next? Knowing that when we catch the next, we'll have another opportunity to let go and catch again. But knowing that both fear and love exist, And can we trust the process of moving through fear in order to find or see or accept love? And can we be courageous in our love? Can we be courageous in our love for ourselves? Standing up for who you are. Standing up for what you believe. Standing up for what you know to be right. Without fear. But with courage. Take a look towards your toes. Reach your fingers towards your toes. And on your inhale, unround the spine. And then untilt from the pelvis. Bring these hands down to the floor. Roll the shoulders back. Lift the heart. Maybe take a little back bend here. Look up towards the sky. And then to come back to neutral, give yourself some love as you bend those knees and bring those feet flat to the floor. And from this, place. Start to lean back. Roll the shoulders back. Keep the spine nice and long and see if you can lift the toes up off the ground. Maybe shins come parallel to the floor. Perhaps we let go. Roll the shoulders back. Perhaps you straighten the legs. Find your breath. And slowly start to peel your way all the way down and find the earth where you land. Tuck your knees in towards your chest. Rock a little side to side. And extend that left leg all the way down to the floor so that you're hugging that right knee in as close as you can get it. And then let that right arm float to the ground as you guide this right leg over to your left side. A little twist. On your inhale, come up to center. Switch it out. Left leg extends, right, nope, left knee comes in, right leg extends. And start to move towards that twist. Left arm goes to the floor. Exhale, guide that left leg over to the right side. back up to center. Hug both knees in. Rock around just a little bit more. And from here we'll move towards our place of relaxation. So here maybe you bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees drop to opposite sides. Maybe you extend those legs all the way out and down. Finding that 
That is Shavasana. That place of rest. Allowing those feet to naturally just land where they may. Allowing the palms to face up. Continuing to open the heart, roll the shoulders back, and receive all the blessings of our practice. Maybe closing the eyes or softening the gaze. And feeling that support of the earth beneath me. May I be happy. May I find joy. May I embody love. That it may be reflected to the world around me. May I speak kindly to myself. May I trust the process of love, of faith, of truth, and of joy. May I always know my own heartbeat. the rhythm of my own breath. And may I follow its path through the world, continuing to shine for the world to see. to deepen your breath, bringing in that intentional breath wiggling the fingers and the toes engaging a stretch or a yawn and rolling over to your face side. Stacking your shoulders, stacking your hips, allowing that arm on the bottom to serve as your pillow. 
I'm taking a few breaths here. These breaths of gratitude. These breaths of love. These breaths of grace and joy and truth. What do you know to be true? Slowly begin to press yourself up. Coming back to that seated place in which we begin. Lifting the arms up overhead. Bring those hands down into the heart where I honor that place in you of love, light, peace, and hope. And when you are in that place in you and I am in that place in me, there is only one of us. Namaste.